running, coming in today. Wanted to let y'all know. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a safe Christmas. Looking forward to all of the best things that are gonna happen for the New Year. So today we're gonna talk about how did this happen? It was during like um, the summertime and I went, I was coming back from Jamaica and I remember um, my suitcase being overweight and you know me on my independence and doing stuff on my own and all of that I said okay all I'm doing is just lifting the check bag from the carousel so I, I did just that and when I lift my, my luggage up from the carousel I heard pop and I felt some tingling and stuff but no way would I pay it no mind you know so I dare you know call the cab after I called the cab you know I went up like three flights of stairs I gave it with the suitcases with the suitcase and I didn't ask for help which I should have and um, so next thing I know you know I did that and like the same night, I know my notice my hand felt weird. I was feeling some pain, but that's the truth. But no, I paid that no my letter. But it felt weak too. That's the notice of a thing that it was weak. So, me, I um, based on what happened, and I just went ahead and rub it up with my home and ready stuff. My whole tiring. You know, I sit down, put on my splint that I have from my carpal tunnel, and things, everything alright. Couple of days pass, we still no same improvement. You know, but I say, okay, let me spray it. We are going two weeks now, still no improvement. I said, no, so I have to call the doctor. Went to the doctor. Doctor said, you know, I don't like how you're not able to lift stuff and your hands are your hand is weak in comparison to the other one. Let's send it to do some x-rays, but also I'm gonna go ahead and put you in a splint. I was like, oh my gosh, a splint? And by this splint they meant a cast. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I did the x-rays, I didn't really notice anything in the x-rays. So I was like, okay, cool. And then after that, no, went ahead and we had to go do MRI. And we did the MRI now that took a few a few weeks or a week or more. Because the location that they did the, the scans, I wasn't able to go back down there. It was too far for me, especially with one hand. So I said, you know what? Okay. You did the MRI. When we did the MRI, they said, oh no, the ligament in your hand broke off. So they call it the scaphoid ligament tear. And she was like, the doctor, the doctor was like, um, guess what? The only way for us to fix this is for us to do surgery. I said, surgery? I'm not doing any surgery. She's like, that's the only way to fix it. And when we fix it, we're going to 
clip the nerve ending so that it delays like the osteoporosis and the arthritis and the pain and all of that and you know the recovery is like six to eight weeks and I'm like I think you know say I have birthday plan trip plan I have all sorts of things what kind of surgery should I talk about and by the time they gave me the information I was like sad lady was like um so who's gonna pick you up for surgery because you can't drive and all of that so she's like um you know can i have a name and then she proceeds to say why do you look so sad you know man i'm like lady wanna just tell me some after the surgery i don't see anything enjoyable about that so you know anyways i made up my mind now I was like, I'm going to do the surgery, my birthday was coming up, November 22nd. I was like, okay, I should be fine. Because I still don't have one my birthday trip. To my dismay, I don't know what I was thinking, if I was some super woman or super girl or something. And next thing you know, all I know is I was starving because I have to stop you're eating from 12 o'clock that morning of the surgery plus then they take seven or eight attempts to get one IV because I had rolling veins and stuff like that I guess I wasn't as hydrated as I, I should have been because I couldn't drink nothing or I couldn't eat nothing and I didn't drink enough the night before so I go so bum now and do the surgery come out and you know, they said it was successful, you know, I, I, when I was in there, I saw, I uh, went on the operating table and what I remembered was that they, um, when I woke up, now before I went in, they were like, okay, I'm going to give you some stuff now and all of that. And I said, okay, I just don't want to see what you guys are doing. I don't want to wake up while you guys are doing it, nothing. And he said, all right, no problem. And what happened was when I woke up, they were wrapping up the hand and stuff, so I didn't see what it looked like or what they did or anything. And then I stayed in recovery for about an hour and thing, and then I was able to get something to eat after. And I remember say, they gave me Percocets and stuff. As soon as I had that, came home, very vomiting. You know, because my stomach couldn't handle that strong painkiller and all of the other stuff, the antibiotics and the other things. And I didn't eat much that day. But, you know, it's been a struggle. My mom came up and she helped me, you know, and I thank God because I wasn't able to do the stuff that I thought I could do on my own. You know, um, I couldn't wipe my butt. It was so painful. The sling, all my fingers stiff, any little movement. I mean, I cried all the way from the hospital straight to the house. And then I threw up all over myself when I came home. So you know how that go already. So, you know, it was terrible in a sense, but you know, it could have been worse. And I give God thanks and stuff. Um, but, you know, this is... Um, a real wake up call for me in terms of I realize how important your limbs are, you know, your your hand, your foot, you know, you take them for granted because you always a move. You know, and I've had other injuries, I do have other injuries, but this by far, this the most painful one. So, you know, um yeah, give thanks for that and now I just recovering, trying not to use the hand as much. I just had my my first physical therapy session for the year, and you know the doctor loves the improvement with my hand. You know I'm able to move it a bit more in comparison to this, because this was what it was before. But I'm able to move it more. There's more curvature in my hand based on her measurement. So I have the exercises that I have to do at home while you know. When I, while I'm away from her and then when I go to her, you know, she has different exercises she has me try. And you know, so, you know, when I go anywhere, people say, who you, who you box? Who you did I beat up? Who did I fight? What happened to your hand? Did you drop on your hand? What you do? You know, 
No, I didn't know about that. Just so you know, you can definitely lift something too heavy and cause this kind of tear or injury. And I realize the ligament is so, um, what would you say, important because at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't get as much blood supply as, as the rest of the, like the tendons and all the other ones. So it's more difficult or it takes a longer time to heal. But you know, yeah. So I was just coming in to let her know and say yes, I wasn't Sister Holyfield or Madame Tyson. Yes, just lifting a suitcase, you know, and that's the story behind what happened to the hand. So thank you guys for watching and guess what? I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, alright? And if you have any ideas for videos that you think I should do in the future, just let me know. Send me a message, comment below, and I'll see what I can do. Alright? Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys.